Nestled within Sherwood Forest and the private estates of Welbeck are the Winnings, two cottages that were once home to the former employees of the estate in the 19th century and now transformed. All the furniture um, in here comes from PR Home, as, as I mentioned, who are actually located on the state an interior design company. Um, we obviously have the cosy log burner, but the real feature is obviously the windows, which are absolutely stunning. All the prints that are in the property actually come from the historic collection. Um, we've obviously put some of racehorses with the winnings and the connection um, with the Sixth Duke, so um, you actually get to see some of the historic art collection as well. There is even an artisan cookery school on the estate, housed in the old Victorian fire station. Um, it's really hard to describe actually, but when you even kind of drive onto Welbeck, it's just a real sense of calm and it's just kind of going back in history and it's just, you know, going back in time and all the history that it's surrounded by and all the artists and, you know, makers and, and food producers. It's, it's a really unusual um, opportunity to come and experience yeah, a real working country estate. However, they were not always this luxurious, and guests are now able to explore the grounds and various activities on the Welbeck Estate. And it was built in 1890 by the Sixth Duke of Portland. Um, so it's named after um, the winnings that the Sixth Duke made on the race course. So he was a really keen trainer of racehorses and quite successful. Uh, and his wife, Duchess Winifred, uh, persuaded him <laughs> to use the money for a charitable cause and the winnings were built to house retired estate workers and sort of specifically the, those that didn't have families who would house them and um, so the ones that were would have struggled otherwise got got put up here rent free um, and then it's been continued to be used for that purpose and then only recently we've had the holiday cottages open. From now on it will be tourists not staff who will stay in these rooms creating the latest chapter in the story of the changing face of one of our oldest Nottinghamshire estates. Sam Leader for Knotts TV.